So I'm really excited today because I've been well, I've been loving this concealer and I've been wanting to do a review on it for a very long time now. So I'm really um, happy that I'm getting the time to do a review on this and show you guys how it works. Um, and this is if I can find it. Let's see. Let's see. It's the Dreamless Concealer, and I've been using this for, for about a month now, I think. Ooh, what's this hair doing? Sorry, my hair gets in my way during my videos because I'm looking down, so my hair gets in my face when I'm looking down. But anyway, um, so I'm doing a review on this concealer, and this is the Dreamless Concealer. And I am in the shade Ivory, and um, this says Dreamless Concealer, Corrector, and I... Let's see. And it kind of just has a swirly kind of tan packaging. Basically, it's just supposed to show the color that you're getting. But the colors are not very similar, as you can see. And this is how much product I've used in. Use? Use in? Used. Mm. Wow, well, I'm smart. Um, but this... Oh. <gasps> but it comes in like a glass jar. I'm pretty sure that's glass because... Uh, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is because it seems glassy. See, there's like plastic. Yeah, I think this is glass, but if it's not, I'm sorry. But this is basically what it looks like, um, and a lot of you guys um, have been wondering the consistency of this, and this is a mousse, and if you guys have ever, this is when you put your finger in it. It's like really light and really fluffy almost. I know it sounds really weird, but it's really light and um, it's really hard to describe. It's not like a heavy liquid concealer or it's not like um, MAC Studio Finish Concealer because that's like kind of like a cream, but this is like a mix between the two. Um, it's really hard to describe. <laughs> um, you kind of almost have to feel it for yourself. And it's really lightweight. It doesn't feel like really cakey or heavy. And nor does it apply cakey or heavy. And this is basically what I've accumulated of feeling it. Um, it's really hard to describe. Um, it's just like, have you ever guys, have you guys, have you ever guys, have you guys ever um, felt one of those you'll play yogurt not you'll play yogurts yeah you'll play yogurts that are the mousse ones and if you guys have ever tried one of those that's exactly what it feels like it's like a moussey except it's not like gonna be like um it's not gonna be as wet because that's kind of wet it's of course it's like yogurt and this is makeup so it's you know yogurt makeup same thing um it's a little bit different <laughs> so yeah and as you guys can see i've using a Oh my god, I'm saying using. I've used a lot of this um, over this last two months, I think now it's been. And I need to go get another one. I'm picking one up um, hopefully this or next weekend sometime. But I've already hit pan on the bottom, as you could see. I usually just go right for the center when I'm putting my finger in. So the center always hits pan first before the edges do. That's what happens to a lot of people, but... Um, yeah, um, and this is basically just, like, the basic stuff about it, and this is, like, $7. What are you doing, Andy? Some of my favorite Britney Spears songs, um, they do not play on the radio This as often is as they 6 or $7. I really wish I could tell you. I'm going to look it up and put it in the bottom bar, so, Yeah. Okay, I'm making a video, and I'm going to be showing you guys now um, what the coverage and I decide instead of telling you guys and showing or er, telling you guys about this product, I kind of wanted to show you guys. So, because I never really do that with many um, face products or eye products or anything. So this is basically what the color looks like. As you can see, it's a little bit yellow tones, and I actually appreciate that a lot because. The yellow tone brightens up my eyes, and it's like lighter than my eyes, which I actually appreciate. So there's a lot of brushes you can use with this. Um, I was told in the Mac store that you're supposed to use a crease brush, but I think that the crease brush doesn't blend it well enough, so I find that it it kind of sweeps it away from your eyes, and it 
cakes it on. So I don't really like that method. Um, you could use two of the brushes. You could use a concealer brush. Or I actually really like using this um, MAC 252. It's a flat, long, flat shader brush. Um, and I'm going to be using my MAC 252 for this. But I definitely recommend just a regular concealer brush. But I find that this has softer hair, so it packs it on better. But you could use anything you want. Um, so... <coughs> I just get it in the product and it'll pick up some of the mousse and what I do is I basically start in the middle and I start instead of like sweeping it back all the products are going to build up right here so you're gonna kind of not pull down but you're gonna kind of sweep down see I'm going like this like really slowly And just blend the concealer and sometimes if you need to use your eyes just pat it Sometimes I just blend it a little bit more. But be gentle with your eyes. You know, they're your eyes, so you don't want to, like, be really harsh with them. And so this this is basically the difference that I got. You could see that <coughs> this concealer has been on for about, let's think, maybe 10 hours. And so this is almost the exact same coverage. You know, this is just a little bit brighter. So if you want to during the day. You could just apply a little bit more like this much and your eyes are practically the same and you know this one I just applied in this one well I just applied again but um was almost 10 hours of use so as you can see this lasts a very long time <clears throat> and this is the coverage and I'm in a really light area so as you can see it kind of shows its true colors um you know, it's not completely, extremely, actually, this is looking extremely bright. But, um, it's not extremely fully pigmented to the point where it's like, oh my god, like, you are, your eyes don't, your eye color doesn't match your skin color. You know, that's going to be kind of weird. But, um, luckily this does, so, um, I'm really happy with this concealer. And as you can see, it's a very full coverage concealer, and it's really definitely worth the $7, and I will continue using this. I was actually planning to get a um, MAC concealer, that's why I went to the MAC store, and I'm returning it because it's too dark, but I decided that I'm sticking with this one, um, I'm not going to get another one, so yeah, the Dreamless Concealer is definitely recommended, and it's a great concealer, this is the best concealer I've ever used, um, and I will continue to stick with this until I get extremely bored of this, um, I might just pick up two of these or something just so I'm, you know, backed up on this stuff. Because I love it to death, and this is my baby. It's my baby in a jar. Yeah. So, basically, I love this concealer, and, um, yeah. So, sorry, I've been just been, yeah, 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 I love it, so I'm Whatever. So, um, I definitely recommend it. I give it five out of five, actually four and a half out of five stars, because it's not, like, amazing, like, oh my god, like, I'm screaming right now, but you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. This is basically it, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys have any questions, please comment down below.